Hey, hey, happy Tuesday, happy book review day. Uh, today's is a bit of a twofer. Uh, we have Tommy Orange, There, There, and Wandering Stars. And, um, you know, these are books actually that people had recommended to me a, a while ago. Well, at least They're There, Wandering Stars just came out. And uh, honestly, it wasn't really until I saw a video about Tommy Orange being invited to a high school. Um, or maybe it was even a college, I, I can't remember, anyway, to a school um, to talk to these students who really had engaged with his book, They're There, that I became really interested and wanted to read it. Um, the kids were so taken with the characters, and it was, it was just delightful to see um, Orange show up and, and be present and really let the kids run the conversation and answer questions and and that kind of stuff. And, you know, um, I don't know, it kind of won me over. So I, I read there, there. Um, it's a, um, what, one of the things I like about both books and, and, you know, both of these, um, kind of function in the same way where they open with an essay. Um, you know, it's a nonfiction essay about something related to Native Americans in the U S and, um, and then the story goes. And so it, it kind of, and then there's often like another essay later in the book and then more of the story. And so it does some of the, I don't know, it's an approach that I hadn't seen before, but I like because it functions like the expository stuff that you'd usually need to have characters talk about, but is not particularly interesting or sometimes comes across as forced. And I really like Tommy Orange's voice. Um, so his essays are super interesting. And whether they're his voice or the narrator, I don't know if there's really a differentiation. Um, but I really enjoy that. So, you know, you you get this essay that talks about a particular issue and then the story kind of provides evidence or illumination on it. Um, there, there is... Um, from the perspective of a lot of different characters and they are younger characters generally. Um, and they all seem to be, I read, a, I read another review that said, um, they were, the book is about native Americans in urban spaces and struggling with authenticity and identity. Um, and, and I do, I, I agree with that. I think that's a, that's an interesting way to think about it, that the, uh, these characters are all, you know, trying to make a living uh, to figure out how they fit. Um, and then at the same time, they kind of have this um, culture, this story, this history, some of it th that's been erased, um, you know, some of it that's incomplete for various reasons, and trying to reconcile how they fit. Uh, so that's there, there. Wandering Stars... Um, you know, has been promoted as both a prequel and sequel to There, There. And it does function that way because in Wandering Stars, what you get is, I think it's 1864. Um, so stories from the past and then stories that happen after There, There. So they're kind of bookends to There, There. Um, and in that one, you're really dealing with um, the U.S. government's systematic attempts to eliminate Native Americans, whether it be through the Indian Wars or um, the, you know, relocation or uh, imprisonment or um, the boarding house system. And so you have um, in the story, you know, you have a little bit of all of those elements and I don't know, they're well written. I really enjoy the, the voice um, that Orange is able to bring to those stories. I think they're engaging. I definitely see why young people would enjoy them, um, but certainly something I enjoy as well. So anyway, I would definitely recommend There, There, and Wandering Stars. Thanks. What are you reading?